First of all, set color management filmic to standard. And then if you just go to world and set the color to RGB 100% green, you will not get what you want, I think. So let's import this as an image sequence and then throw on a color key and then increase the tolerance a little because it's compressed and such. Then of course you greenified your character. Who wants that? And if you use something more advanced like ultra key, it just messes up and darkens everything. The solution is to not change the background in this way. So set the color back to dark gray, I suppose. And instead go to shading. In the top left here, select world. Add a mix shader, shift A. Click search mix shader. Enter and click it here in this line. It'll be added automatically. Then duplicate the background node. Click it, shift D. Move it a little. Connect it to the second shader input of the mix shader and change the color to fully green with the RGB values. And fully alpha. Now add light path node, shift A, search light path, enter, and use the is camera ray as input for factor of the mix shader. Meaning whenever the camera looks at the background, that pixel will be green. Perfect for green screen. As we can see, the model is not affected by this at all. And we can continue to affect it using the other background node. Double checking settings, FFmpeg video, MPEG4, H264. Let's fire it up. All right, here it is, 3.26 megabytes, and this at 4K resolution. At the same time, this footage over here, nearly a gigabyte, 830 megabytes. All right, let's start with color key, picking green. Kind of works already. Increase color tolerance, increase edge feather, edge thin. Well, it's workable, I suppose. But Ultra Key is much better for this. Here we are. Now you might want to tell me, hey, you don't need to do this, you can just render transparent background videos with QuickTime and QT animation, which is totally true. I just have to go to uh, Render, go to Film, enable Transparent, and render it. Oh wait, this is not transparent video. I forgot to enable RGBA here. So let's render it again. 377 megabytes as opposed to 3.26 megabytes. A 100 factor difference. All right, QT animation works by default in Premiere. Let's see what the performance says. So we have here the green screen at 4K on a 4K video. And here on the right, we have the QT alpha, QT animation with alpha. 4K on 4K video. Yeah, so we do max out here. At first, at least. Okay. And now this part. Ha! Huh. Dare I say the performance is actually... Did it just freeze? Um, okay, now the performance is worse. W what? Well, this very scientific test, I think, shows that... What the heck? Now it's just getting worse in general. Playback performance is so freaking hard to measure. Okay, let's go. I press space. It's been a while. Okay. 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 Laggy. Annoying. Okay. All right. So that was uh, not a great experience, but hey, this is 4K video and transparency in 4K. That's not what my computer was built for. Okay. Let's do this part. Wow. Wow. Look at this lag. Wow. Oh my goodness, so it's both horrible. I intentionally use 4K because I thought, oh, maybe uh, it's better for seeing the difference. I might have just sticked to 1080p. My feeling, my scientific feeling tells me that uh, QT animation performs a little worse than green screen. But for sure, green screen just allows for compression, which you cannot achieve with 
direct in video alpha while having compatibility. There is no compression in Qt animation. The only format that has compression and transparency is VP9 in WebM, which is not supported by anything except for Shotcut and KDN Live so far. Not even Blender supports it, even though it can render it. So using Qt animation with transparency in Blender is super easy. You just need to connect the alpha input, basically. As for using green screen videos in materials, I only found Yog Yog's project and I'm afraid it definitely is not perfect if you compare to using Qt Animation. Much nicer edges here. Well, I hope this was somewhat useful and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.